What's up, viewers and viewers? This is your boy Big Mike coming at you again. Now, tonight on my random shit videos, I'm gonna rant about a few things. And um, if you've ever had anything like this happen to you, please comment below and let me know about it because I've never experienced this shit before. And this is why Ohio sucks. Okay, I've been living in Ohio for about 12 or 13 years, and it's been both very good luck <coughs> as well as very bad luck for me, and, I, and I'll get to the bad luck first. Now, I'm complaining because, you know, it's pissing me off. Some people might think it's stupid, but whatever. Over the last couple days, I've been looking for... Um, some supplies to do another batch of these masks. Okay? These little red chevrons on some of these masks. These are painted on. But I'm going to try another technique that somebody else suggested and use red masking tape. I've been to three stores over the last couple days. Two of them are hardware stores. Nobody had fucking red masking tape. Okay? They had red duct tape, red electrical tape, red this tape, red that tape. No red fucking masking tape. Okay? <coughs> and uh, that's not that's not just one and only experience. That shit happens all the time. If I need a list of certain things that, you know, they shouldn't even be, um, or they aren't, you know, moon rocks. They aren't, like, bricks of gold, whatever, rocket fuel. They aren't things that are going to be hard to come by. These are things that should be store-ready and on the shelf when I go to look for them. Yet, every time I, I go to somewhere with a list, I'm lucky if I find two things that are on that list. And I'm, I'm serious. I'm 100% serious. They could be movies. Uh, art supplies. Whatever. Nobody ever, ever has any. And I've experienced this shit the last almost 12 years since I've lived here. Okay? Bullshit. I've never had that problem where I lived in Pennsylvania. That's where I was born and raised, down near Philly. Never had a problem. If I walked into a store with a list of items, I'd find everything but probably two items. And that's, that's, that's if I'm lucky or unlucky. I could probably find everything. Up here in Ohio? No. Yo. And, you know, people are saying, okay, well, why don't you just shop online? That's a last resort for me. Because, first of all, I like to go to the store, buy the shit that I need, come home in an hour tops. Okay? It doesn't take that long. And with, the, with buying shit online, you're waiting three to five business days. You know, six to eight weeks, depending on what you're buying. I'm not waiting that long. And what I'm not doing more is paying extra money to have something shipped to my house. No. People don't think about that. They're spending extra money to have ship shipped to your house. I mean, come on now. Go get the shit. No. I've not only experienced the kind of shit myself. My dad has, too. Not to the degree as I have. But, for example, a couple years ago, he walks into a flooring store. And he tells the lady at the counter he's interested in getting some work done on the kitchen floor. The lady says, okay, you know, takes the, takes the information down, what, what he wants to get done, name, address, phone number, whatever. Nobody ever called him back. And my dad is the kind of person who 
if the company wants to do business with you, they will call you, you know, after you've made that initial approach. And that's happened a lot up here, too. I've called different places about different things. If I'm lucky, you know, I get a phone call back from them. That happens probably one in ten times. Okay? One in ten times. That's bullshit. Okay? So, one of the, one example of that. I'm not ashamed to say it, really, whatever. I'm on Medicaid, okay? And I've been on it for I don't know how long, maybe three years, four years now. So I applied for it. I did the Obama.gov, whatever bullshit. And I was told, you know, due to the process, whatever, there's a long wait, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so almost a year later... <clears throat> I'm getting ready to get my taxes done. And I'm thinking, well, wait a minute. I'm not going to get fined, am I? Or, yeah, I am. Because I don't have any insurance. No, wait a minute. I'm not going to get fined if I'm still waiting to hear back from these assholes. So I started calling around to all these different places. The one guy, I, I can't even remember what, where it was, he's like, well, why did you wait so long to call us? And I'm like, because I was told that you would contact me, either by mail, telephone, email, whatever. I never got shit. But when I called the county commissioner's office that night or that day, I had insurance by the end of the night. And that's the kind of shit that goes on here in Ohio. Um, another bad thing, and please, viewers, if you have ever experienced this, please comment down below, because it's utter fucking bullshit. I'm not ashamed of this either. I should be, but I'm not. I'm 36 years old. Never had my driver's license. I've had my permit twice here in the state of Ohio. And to get my permit, it fucked up because I think it was um, 2010, I walked into the DMV. I said, I'd like to take my test to get a permit. Do you have car insurance? No, I don't own a car. Oh, well, you need car insurance to get your permit. What? Yeah, you got to have insurance to get your permit. Uh, okay. So I go up to the damn little insurance building up the street, buy a $50 uh, uh, temporary insurance policy. Yeah. Well, that policy, the only one they offered for that, forbade me from driving anybody's car that I lived with in the, in the house. <clears throat> so, if I lived with 60 people, I was not allowed to drive their car because they were easily accessible to me. Yet, I can go over and ask the neighbor if I could borrow their car. I can steal a car. I can ask Joe Blow from Oklahoma if I could buy or borrow his car and be covered. But the two cars that belong in this house was not allowed to drive. And that makes no sense because if I were 16 years old, it would more than likely be a parent or a sibling's car I'd be learning how to drive on. That's fucking bullshit, okay? And I bought this policy twice on two different occasions. Uh, 2010, I think 2013 was when I decided to go for it again. But then I stopped after that because everybody that I've talked to about this never had to have that. And I've talked to 
you know, 16, 17 year old girls that I worked with before that just got their license, all the way up to like my manager who was in their 40s and whatever. Nobody that I talked to has ever had to do anything like that. What makes me the exception? I'm not buying car insurance when I don't own a fucking car. You wouldn't buy homeowner's insurance if you don't own a house, would you? No. So, I mean, I, I refuse to pay any more money on something that I don't own. So, now, on a lighter note, still not good, still not bad, I've met a lot of nice people up here. The thing is, nobody wants to bother with me. I always extend my friendship out. Nobody wants to bother with me. So, I say fuck it. You know, let them come to me. All right? I mean, this is that's, it's hurting me, to be honest with you. So, you know, I, I don't bother with them. If You know, I might text them or whatever. But I've had people that have blatantly given me their phone number. And I said, yo, let's hang out one time, whatever. Let's call, whatever. I text them every once in a while and say, hey, what are you doing next weekend? What are you doing here? What are you doing there? Yeah, they always make up an excuse of why they can't do this or do that. Fucking bullshit. Okay? That, that's all I'm going to spend on that because I don't want to offend any more uh, people or whatever. But it's the truth. Now, on the good side of Ohio, if you can call it that, I've developed a bit of a talent that I've never had before. And uh, I wish I had developed this years ago. I can draw cartoon characters like nobody's business. Not all of them. I mean, Mickey Mouse, he's a hard-ass little motherfucker to draw. But you give me Donald Duck or, or somebody else, yeah, I can pretty much draw them like the guy who created them. And there's a good side and a bad side to that because I can look at a picture of Porky Pig and draw him for what he is. But I can't think about him and draw it. I don't know why I can't do that. I know what he looks like. But anyway, that, that's a talent that I never had before and I wish I would have discovered at an earlier age. Um... Because I could be doing things with it. I could be living off of my talent now. Um, I just got into painting not too, too long ago. Never done paintings. The last time I did a painting was in high school. And I sucked at it. I mean, whatever. I mean, now I paint and it's, you know, there are no Van Goghs, there are no Rembrandts, whatever. But, you know, they're pretty cool. I'll show you. Hang on a moment. This is the cemetery landscape I did based off a photograph that I took. I don't know if it's an Amish cemetery that I took a picture of or a little private like family cemetery that's no longer in use. But if you were to look at the actual photograph of this, you, you'd have to take a double take and try to find out what's real, what's from fake. But that's my painting. I've never done paintings up until almost a year ago. I like doing it. And I, I'm on the verge of actually having some of my paintings go into an art gallery for sale. Hey, oh, things are looking up that way, but, you know, there's just shit about Ohio. It, it's just bad luck almost overall. But that's my rant for today, and uh, check back soon. 
I'm not sure when. I'm, I'm trying to figure out how I want to do it. But I'm going to start a paranormal topic show um, on my channel. I don't know if I'm going to do one maybe every week or whatever. But check back and I thank you for watching.